It's in almost every chapter of John in some way. Jesus is the temple of God. Recall the presence of God. Temple, dwelling place, home, abiding, dwelling, living with. These are all references in the Gospel of John to God's presence made known in Jesus. The structure of the building, that magnificent temple, was destroyed. But God is still here in Jesus. And if we go to the last discourse in John's Gospel, chapters 13, 14, 15, 16, Jesus is, it's like Jesus is imparting everything he wants to make sure his apostles get that Holy Thursday night. And we hear Jesus inviting us to be temple, to understand the reality that we are the temple. In chapter 14 of John's Gospel, he says, Anyone who loves me will be my, true to my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to them and make our dwelling place with them. In Jesus, we are the dwelling place of God, individually and as a community. We are the dwelling place of God. Recall the presence of God. What are the ramifications of this reality in our living? If we are the dwelling place of God both individually and as a community, individually first. Close your eyes if you wish. Take a couple breaths and enter into your interior space, your heart space. Meet Jesus there. And with him, walk around your chamber, your temple. What's cluttering it up? What busyness is keeping you from attending to the holy of holies within you? What is the noisiness that keeps you from hearing the voice of God? Let Jesus help you remove the stuff that doesn't belong in the temple. What old stories, what pain, what relationships, what preoccupations keep you from remembering God dwells within you? Give them to Jesus and let him remove them from your heart. You are the temple. Don't stand this time, but place your hand on your heart and recall you are the presence of God. Recall the presence of God. Bask in that reality for a moment. You are never alone. No one can take that truth, that reality away from you. The source of love dwells in your heart and provides you with grace and mercy, wisdom and light. No matter what the world throws at you from the outside, within you dwells 
God. Now let's consider what that might mean in the context of our community. If it is mercy, God desires not sacrifice. If the dwelling place of God is a house of prayer, then God is forming us as a community to be a prayerful servant people. As a whole house here in community, we are challenged to remember God dwells among us and is working within each other. Each individual is to be welcomed and approached with deep love and acceptance for the holy of holies dwells within them. When there is a need, we respond the best we can. When someone harms or offends us, we attempt to heal and reconcile with that person because re we remember God is here too. Even if we do not have this building to gather in, God is here. God is here as a community, as God's own called together in, with, and through Jesus. Recall the presence of God. Recall the presence of God. Stand. Look around and recall the presence of God among us with each other. This is why we gather. You can sit down now. <laughs> the mystery of God dwelling among us is why we pause and rest and celebrate Sabbath. Celebrate the Lord's Day. Sabbath helps us remember. God's house is a house of prayer. Clear out your temple, light a candle, we've got several, pray, reflect, eat with mindfulness as we share Eucharist, as we participate in fellowship. Tell your stories to one another and listen to each other's stories. Love the children, care for the grandparents. Sing and give thanks because we gather in this loving community as we recall the presence of God. Amen.